Hello, my name is Paul Hooper. Uh, I'm a consultant gynaecologist practicing in Nottingham. Uh, I have a special interest in uh, urogynaecology. Endometrial ablation surgery is surgery that can be considered uh, as a minimally invasive surgery in women in whom uh, first line measures such as medications or a hormonal coil have failed. Uh, to deal with uh, heavy um, periods. So endometrial ablation is a minimally, active, uh, minimally invasive uh, surgical technique, uh, which aims to uh, destroy uh, the uh, lining of the womb. And it's the lining of the womb that uh, can come away as heavy periods. And so the idea behind that is to use an energy source, uh, either uh, heat directly uh, or microwave uh, to thin the lining of the womb and destroy it uh, so that heavy periods don't occur. During uh, and after the surgery, uh, women who've had the procedure uh, may experience some crampy uh, pain. Um, in order to minimize this, uh, medication is normally prescribed uh, beforehand uh, to be taken. During the procedure, local anaesthetic is injected uh, to the cervix to decrease the medication. And obviously we make sure that adequate pain relief is provided following the procedure. It can be done as either uh, uh, an outpatient and local anaesthetic procedure, or in some women it can be done under a general anaesthetic. In women who have the procedure done under a local anaesthetic, uh, then they will normally be able to mobilize shortly after the procedure. Uh, and, and once they're able to uh, empty the bladder, uh, then they should be able to uh, go back uh, home. There will be, as we've said uh, before, some discomfort associated with that. Um, and that normally lasts for a day or two um, and is described generally as a uh, painful period type pain. So endometrial ablation is uh, generally considered in women uh, whose uh, family is complete. Um, if in the future following endometrial uh, ablation uh, pregnancy occurs, then it is a very high risk uh, pregnancy uh, because the blood supply to the womb uh, and the lining of the womb has been affected. So it's definitely only for women whose family is complete. And sometimes it can be combined with uh, sterilization in order to uh, minimize the chance of that happening. Usually at the time of endometrial ablation, a hysteroscopy, which is a camera pl uh, placed into the womb, is done prior to uh, the procedure, which involves destroying the lining of the womb. Uh, and that uh, camera just rules out any underlying problems uh, that may make it suitable, uh, such as a large polyp or an unexpected uh, irregularity. The gold standard really for endometrial ablation is to completely uh, stop periods, what we call the amenorrhea uh, rate. Uh, and for most uh, modern endometrial ablation techniques, uh, that is uh, generally uh, about 60 to 70 percent. Uh, that means about 20 percent of women will have lighter but regular periods and in the other 20 percent uh, the, the procedure is unsuccessful and the women continue uh, to experience heavy and regular periods.